Hi, I'm Debbie. And I'm Jan. And this is The Villages 365. And today we're going to answer July questions. Yes, and we would like to also thank all of the people who watch our videos and who are so kind and ask questions, uh, reasonable questions. And uh, we do always appreciate that. We read them, obviously. We answer them at the time. And then we like to do these videos to follow up. And um, so in case you don't read all the chatter, you get to hear all the chatter. So. Um, the first one came from the video that was must visit places in and around the villages. It was from Steve Brady. He said, you and your husbands look fit. Do you do weight training? And by the way, thank you. Yes. If so, where and what does it cost? And my wife checked MVP and it was very expensive. So we're looking for alternatives. So um, for myself, I play a lot of tennis and um, golf a couple times a week, and that's pretty much where I get my exercise in. I don't do weight training. Jan has weights in her garage, so you can come over and use Jan's weights. Yes. She won't charge. She won't charge too much, right? Yeah. Right. And um, but yeah, that's so that's where you guys train. But um, and I'll well, let Jan actually. Mark her goes side. to what was MVP. He's a gym rat, MVP right. Genesis, and he does a lot of classes there. But you can also do classes free at the rec centers. And then there's the outdoor equipment that's free. Exactly. Exactly. With and, amenities. Yeah. And then there's what, seven rec centers that you can pay to work out. And it is more of like an MVP kind of experience as far as the gym equipment goes. Yes. Um, and it's indoors. And, um, and I think the, we did, we, we videoed the Finney one, the, the equipment inside. We, did we, did we I don't think we, that? I don't think we did the, vi in. I don't think we did the equipment, but we did, um, we, we did a video on Laurel Manor and showed it. Yeah. So there's, there's about seven rec centers mm -hmm. that have, um, gyms in them and there is a fee. So, a fee. and Jan probably has it, but I can also put that up on the screen Right. It's Mulberry too. Grove, Laurel Manor, Colony Cottage, Sea Breeze, Rohan, Finney, and Easel so far. So, and I'm sure as they put new new things in the mm -hmm. in the new South part, they're going to maybe decide that that's very, you know, appealing to people. Yeah. Right, right. And especially since they're with all these people, there's only two Genesis. Yeah. And I do know the Brownwood is very crowded because mm -hmm. it's kind of in the middle and all the South people go there. So, yeah. So if you, are you going to post them? Cause I don't, yeah, I can, I can post them. And so just okay. so you know, though, you can do them. So to give you an idea, you can do it by the day, you can do it by the month, you can do it by the year yeah. and you can do Three singles months, six or months, couples. Months. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And so they range from, what did they range from? Like daily is $5 and, um, a single for a month is 44 and, um, three months is 119. And then the couple is not double, but a deal. So, so like a, the twelve month would be seven ten for a couple, and three sixty three she's got for a single. So that kind of gives you a comparison as to what you might pay at Genesis. And um, this is only open to village residents. Um, Genesis is a health club that anybody can join. So I don't know if that matters or not, but anyway, yeah. that does matter. Just so you know. Well, so and if and if you have a certain if you're on Medicare and you have a certain um, supplement they also offer what they call silver sneakers but they don't call it silver hair and um, then that's free at genesis and they honor that so yeah so a couple that's, things that's another to look way. into yeah so thank you uh kay lang have either of you spent time on barrier islands on the gulf well i've only been to treasure island <laughs> which i took the, the grandsons and they loved it but debbie has been to more well, we've been to um, the Fort Myers area, Cape Coral, Sanibel, all of those. You came with us to Sanibel. So, yeah. Um, we did Sanibel Island together. So we have, unfortunately, um, I'm not sure when we did this video, but I think that um, that might have been before the hurricane came through. Yeah. Um, now that hurricane kind of decimated a lot of that area, unfortunately. Yeah. So it Totally moved it. Yeah. Yeah. Sanibel kind of got, that, that, was, that was probably one of the worst. Yeah. So um, all the little barrier islands are really sweet, but they're beautiful um, yeah they need they're in in under repair right now so if you're thinking about going to visit any i would recommend that you check into the areas you're going to because they have been uh, affected but there's so. a lot of other beautiful areas in, oh, in yeah. florida on tons, either coast. tons tons of beautiful places uh, P, you, P G productions asked how often do they have day trip tours planned so um the villages doesn't plan day trips. Mm -hmm. um, any of the trips that you've seen, those are things that we just do on our own. I love planning. So we, we do those types of things. She's good at it. 
It's fun. It's fun. Um, but there is a company called Workman, and they do a lot of day trips, weekend trips. They mm -hmm. do longer. You can go for like a week and whatever. And um, I know somebody that works for them. And so she's like, I said, you're the tour guide. How do you know all these places? And she said, well, no, I'm not really the guide. I'm kind of the sheep herder. <laughs> so she kind of uh, makes sure. Cats. Yeah, everybody's on schedule. All 10 people got off the bus, 10 people got back on, you know, that kind of thing. Here's your voucher for lunch, whatever. And, um, but uh, she says they're amazing. They do a great job. Yeah. And yeah, we know some people that do a lot fun. of those. Yeah. And it's no brainer because you just get on the bus, they do everything for you. And then they bring you home, you get off the bus. So and it might be a place, a good way for like singles to travel. Cause honestly, I always wonder like, would I travel much if, you know, if Leo wasn't around, like who is hard cause everything's almost double occupancy, all that yeah. kind of thing. So be kind of nice way to go as a single, not have to worry about driving yourself and all of that kind of thing too. Yeah. So. And I have a website so you can get on the um, website and, um, and see what they have to offer. It's about every day. Wow. So. That's a lot. Thank you. Um, Parsky. We are coming for our lifestyle visit where the top 10 things we should focus on during that week. Um, I'm sure that when you're doing a lifestyle, they'll give you a list of things to do. Um, I would visit all the squares, um, just ride around in the cart, catch a movie, try a few restaurants. And we did a thing on our favorite restaurants. Mm -hmm. um, check out the walking trails if that's important to you. Um, and I don't even know where are they putting people up now because they've moved and moved and moved. Um, that's actually, I want to look into that for a yeah. future video as to yeah. where it is and what, how the whole program, what it all entails at this point, how much and all that stuff. Right. So because it's it, got to be down in the, yeah, it's not Fenny, it's further than that now. It's got to exactly, be. Exactly. Because they want you to see the newer yeah. stuff. So, I mean, it started in Spanish Springs. Yeah. And then, and then as they sell out like the right, sales offices, right. they kind of keep bumping them down further right, south. So. Right. But you know, you can golf. They'll, I think they give you golf. Um, I think vouchers. you get to pick a golf. I think our friends that did it not too long ago said you either got a golf or a show. Okay. So you yeah. kind of get to pick. And so there's shows activities. at the Sharon or Savannah Center, and um, a few rec centers. I would, mm -hmm. if you're thinking of an area or where you are, check out a few rec centers. They're all beautifully done. There's usually a theme. Uh, check out some pools and some out, outdoor games. I mean, there's a lot to do. Yeah. You, you will pack three, four, or five days or wh whatever you're staying in. It will be busy. Yeah. And I would, I would make sure that you check out all of the areas and find out where the activities are that you're interested in. Um, softball, which they have started building more softball complexes mm -hmm. south. But it, initially, like all the softball was up by the polo field. And so, again, people that were moving way down south were like, oh, no, because now they had to drive all the way up here just to play softball. Or if you like to play the tennis courts, the clay courts, the clay is only up north. So if that's of interest to you, the problem is you just have to know you're going to do a lot of driving. I mean, some people want new construction no matter what. So that's okay, right. too. So, but you just have to know then you're going to do more driving, probably less golf carting. But Until um, things build up. Down yeah, there. but like the clay courts, they're not going to build any more yeah, clay courts. Yeah. No, they said there flat is, out there. There is a to. softball complex right before 44. There's in Rohan. Rohan has one. Yes. And then I think I read that new um, area is supposed area to have one too, I think. And that's very popular. Um, yeah. yeah. But, uh, and the other thing that I would add outside of the things that Jan said is I would go, if you're coming for a lifestyle visit, I'm guessing it's because you're thinking that you may be moving mm -hmm. here someday. If it was me, I would hook up with a realtor and I would hook up with two. I would hook up with a village's realtor. So I got to see some villages listings and I would make sure that I told the realtor, I want to see something up North. I would like to see something central and I would like to see something South. It will give you a good idea of the homes, the age of the homes, the further North you go, the older they're going to be. The further South you go, the newer construction yep. you're going to have but you're going to have pluses and minuses and more things might be done on the older homes, or you may need to do a whole lot of work on the older homes. So it's just good to get a good exposure of all of them. And you would want to go through like a Remax or Century 21 or one of the other real, mm -hmm. real estate companies here too, because they can't show villages property and villagers cannot show their properties. Yeah. So I would go, I would grab myself two realtors and I would just put, you know, you could probably bump it out in the morning, you know, right, go yeah. morning with one realtor, afternoon with another, so it wouldn't take up a ton of your time. But the realtor's also a really good source of showing you where the amenities, I mean, they know the area, so yeah. they're good about showing you the amenities and where, what, this is what you get in this area kind but of thing. But they will so. not pressure you. No, They'll for say, sure. if you want to see some houses, let us know. Yeah. They're really laid back yeah, about they're that. They're not so like that's nice. at two o'clock tomorrow. Yeah. So, you yeah, will come out with yeah. me. Yeah. Yep, it's, it's not like those, uh, 
what are the the um, timeshares? You know, the yeah. hard sell. Oh, come they listen tie you to, to a us chair. For, yeah, here's a free trip, and then yeah. sit there for. We buckled you in. Um, this is from our home prices dropping uh, video. Um, Matt Dudley asked, what distance would be considered close to a town square? If it says eight minutes away by car, what is the equivalent by golf cart? Um, that was a great question. Actually, one of our viewers had a great answer, and that is that um, she said, if you turn the app on to bike, that that gives you a really accurate um, distance and time frame for uh, how far it would be. And I think that that was a really good suggestion. I wouldn't have a better suggestion. And I will say, though, pretty much in the villages, Every home is within 15 minutes of a square. Yeah, probably. I mean, I don't think really you're much further than that. Maybe mm -hmm. 20, like the way north, you know, like the villas way up north, maybe they're 20 minutes yeah, to Spanish. Yeah, the ones that are up by Lopez. Yeah, yeah. but I mean, overall, yeah, I would say everybody's minutes. within 15, 20 minutes yeah. by car mm -hmm. to a square. So um, yeah. anyway, but if that's important to you, make sure you tell your realtor, I'd like to be close to five it. minutes yeah. by golf cart or whatever. So yeah. Okay, the same with home prices dropping. Frank Keel, what and why are the bonds different costs and are the newer houses more costly? Well, the older, older homes are mostly paid off. Um, it depends on the age and the previous owner, if they paid it off or they made the payments in their- uh, Tax bill. Yeah, in their tax mm -hmm. bill. Um, Kim did say something in this particular video of she has seen one up at 40,000. Yeah, she said that was the highest. That was the seen. highest. Yeah. And it pays for, you know, the storm water, the pump stations, the gutters, the street lights, etc. Um, and so that's just one thing you're going to have to ask your realtor when you're looking. I mean, and they do, you will see the houses that are no bond, mm -hmm. which is a selling point for some people. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, you're just, you're just going to have to, you know. It's just, it's just a way of, it's interesting because some areas like where I'm from in Illinois, they did they didn't call them the CDDs or bonds, but they, there was another term for them. But anyway, that was included in the taxes and they did that for schools and, and the yeah, infrastructure. Yeah, that's every year. Sometimes yeah. what they did was they just increased the price. So if the house was a hundred thousand dollar house and they did all the, what would be the assessment and say it was $10,000 instead of asking a hundred thousand, they just asked one ten. you pay for it kind of one way or the other. Right. So, um, Mark Shoup asked, roughly, what do you think the percentage of snowbirds are there? 10, 15, 20%, what do you think? So um, I'm not sure if there is something that, I, I don't know I don't what a good gauge a is. <laughs> yeah, because the thing is, is that when you talk about snowbirds, so what is a snowbird? Is a snowbird somebody that just comes for a month? Is it somebody that comes for, because we have a lot of, um, now they call them seasonal residents is what they want the term to be because a lot of people do have homes here. They mm -hmm. own a home here, but they only come for maybe six months. But like we have a lot of Canadians and they will come for the six months that they're permitted to come. Um, you know, they can't stay any longer than right. that. So is that a snowbird? I don't know. It's a resident who owns a home, but who's only here part time. Right. Many people travel. It's, you know, it's really hard to guess. I would say that um, like when, once we get to April, May, June, these seasons, we start to see the population drop. And so if the I was going to just take a stab with the golf carts and stuff like that, if I compared February to June, I would say half. Yeah. It's, yeah. Right? I would. Yeah. It, it's, or you can walk into any restaurant or the yeah. square, there's always a chair. Um, yeah. And so and it's hard to know though, is that, is it that people are traveling? Like, is it ho homeowners that are traveling? Right. Is it the, the snowbirds? You know, it's hard, it is hard, to, it's really hard to guess. Yeah, and we don't have that second home anymore, but we go visit the kids. We, you know, until one of us kicks us out and then we go to the other one. So we're gone a couple months in the, in the summer. Yeah. Just because it's warm and um, that's a good time to go see the, the yeah. grandkids. So, so I, it, it would be a very hard stat to pull. It would. Um, the next one is on the polo video. Real time asks, do you know the percentage of married homeowners versus sing single homeowners in the villages? On the polo one? <laughs> I don't know why Did we say something? <laughs> no, I don't know. It, uh, probably just a thought. I know. I know. They're watching probably it and going. Oh. Um, latest date stat I found was 75%. And um, we did get the stats on the video that we did the big book. Mm -hmm. that they come out. Everything um, you need to know about the villages yeah, or something. Unless the paper comes out with once a year. 
and you know these change but um i you know there's a lot of singles there's a lot of singles clubs i think i looked them up mm -hmm. but there's like six or seven of them they have down south up north they call them different things so yeah i mean if you're single this is a good place to be too if you're married it's a good place to be mm -hmm. agreed um, on our video, why did we create a YouTube channel? Kay Lang asked, we learned about multiple apartments, townhomes, and single family homes just on the outskirts of the villages. Do you know what the approximate population in this development is expected to be in the first phase? We don't. Um, I will say they've approved like 8,000 homes at a time, and that's in the Wildwood area, typically um, in Oxford. And so that's on the west side of 301. And would be basically from 466 on south is pretty mm -hmm. much where the um, where that's going. Um, it was interesting. Wildwoods, um, you know, like all things, they're trying to get the approval through Wildwood. Um, I did read an article where it said some of the board are saying, let's slow things down. Let's make sure they can fill these apartments so we don't let them build hog wild and then we'll end up with all these vacant um, apartments so it'll be interesting to see i think yeah. it's a it's a topic of conversation there for sure to see how they want to handle it but um there are a lot of homes a lot of townhomes and you know again and this goes to we've talked about this there are everybody here not everybody most of the people here are retired and are not working and they don't want to work yeah. <laughs> and so we need people to work on our restaurants, work on our stores. If we want to shop and we want our haircut and we want yeah. Nurses, to eat and all this stuff. Know, doctors, yeah. Uh, it's like, we want all these things. So the, the, they have to go somewhere. And some of the jobs, you know, the people are driving a long way to be a server in a restaurant. And so it comes down to, they're trying to put some more affordable housing. I don't think these are by any means low income housing. No, no, that's but, what some people are calling it, but yeah. Yeah. I think it's just supposed to be more affordable housing. Of course, the proof is always in the pudding. Um, but uh, it's basically to help the workers have a place to be able to live, right. you know, so um, that they can have a, a life too. So anyway, but we don't know the number, but it it's it's definitely going to keep going for sure. And hopefully, though, they do control it and make, make the growth controlled and slow so that they can yeah. make sure they don't well, boom, it's there and then boom, issues, it's not. There's water issues. There's, I mean, there's yeah. a lot of issues with a lot of building um, hitting a town that used to be pretty small. Yep. So. so I think they're trying to be smart about it. Yes. Um, on the same create a YouTube. Why did we Charles Bartholomew asked, when are you going to take us out on the golf course with you? Well, we have, I think those were some of our first videos. Yeah. We've done courses. Quite a few. Yeah. Um, and I guess maybe we should have more of us with bad shots or more, Yes, y'all can yeah. laugh. Yeah, so you can, yeah. <laughs> but we were trying to show you how beautiful a lot of these the golf courses, courses are and kind of, you know. More of a tour of the golf yes, courses. Yes, is kind of what but we were we'll, we'll come up with something. Yep, we'll get back out there. And thanks for asking. Yes. David S. asked, is there anywhere in or near the villages where women can get their hair cut and colored? Of course there is. Um, it's, yeah, I, I think he was probably talking about <gasps> mine, but um pretty sure that this was not a genuine question, but I'm going to answer it sincerely. And that is, yes, there are a ton of places. Um, Cal's being one of the biggest ones. Um, it's kind Solange of a chain. Lee, which I, is that part of the village? What it is, is so one of the, the lady that owns it is very good friends with the family. And she was one of the ones that came down with them at the beginning. Yeah. And so she has yes. a school and then they go is their directly school. to the, mm -hmm. and, so and I used to get so. my hair cut there and colored and, I loved Binks. Binks, where are you? She disappeared. <laughs> so, yes, there are. Um, Nick Nissen, are there churches in the villages? Yes. And we, we talked about this. I counted 20 in the villages by golf cart. But there's a ton, There's a lot of them in Wildwood, Leesburg, uh, Fruitland Park. Lady Lake. Um, Lady Lake. Uh, yeah, there's three mega churches in the villages and yeah, you can church shop for a while until yeah. you find, until you find your home. But yeah, there's, a, there's a lot. Yeah. I think at one point I tried to count and I was over 75. I'm like, okay, we get the point. Yeah. You know, so yeah, there's a lot. lots of places. Yeah. So, um, those are all the questions I, I think, think so. that we have for today. So, um, we always appreciate you guys watching. We appreciate when you like and subscribe and we try and to do these for, 
fun, fun. entertainment yeah. and hopefully give you a little bit of insight as to what it's like here in the villages. And um, we appreciate you watching. Like and subscribe. Watch the next one.